Alright guys, so on today's History Channel, we will be taking a look at your average Fortnite 50v50 player. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to venture into dangerous territory, such as soaring 50v50s. Now guys, let's get into the video. I don't know what that was, it's honestly just a title for the video. And I know it's supposed to be a Call of Duty day, but I don't, I've kind of figured out I don't really like Call of Duty that much, so... I started playing it, wasn't having fun at all, and now I'm on Fortnite, so we can all see how that went. But anyways guys, today's video, we're basically just going to be playing until we die, and then we're just going to spectate some people and just kind of see what's going on on how people actually play 50v50, because, I mean, I just play and usually get my challenges done, but I, I mean, I know some people, like, seriously only play this, so, I mean, it's a fun game mode, so I get why, but... Let's see. Guys, I've made a fatal mistake. I have to pee extremely badly. And the game just started. Like, it's really bad. I've drinking like 12 glasses of water and like 30 minutes and now I have to pee really badly. Oh God, fuck it. I'll be back. Oh my god, do you guys see that perfect timing? Holy cow, I literally sat down the second I, I freaking landed. That timing was impeccable, if I do say so myself. I don't think you can plan that any better than I just did. So if you guys didn't know, school actually started for me about like a week ago maybe. Maybe like a week and a half ago. So I've been in school for quite some time now. And... So I'm in my senior year, and uh, one of the classes you're required to take your senior year is economics. So it's just, uh, for those who don't know, it's literally just the economy, um, and like around the world, it's just the different economy types and how it's worked, I guess, and that kind of jazz. But anyways, we had to do a project basically on famous like entrepreneurs, so like she... Basically, my teacher basically gave us all a little like slip with uh, an entrepreneur's name on it. And we all had to basically write a Facebook page for them. So we had to like make friends for them and everything and like update their status. It was, it's really dumb. But anyways, the person I got was Thomas Edison. So me being the intelligent scholar that I am, looked at the name and it said Thomas Alva Edison. And I was like, it took me a while, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, you know, who the living heck is Thomas Alva Edison? Like, I don't think I've ever heard of that person before. So, she gave us time in class to start, like, looking, like, them up and uh, looking up some of the information we needed for the project up. So, I'm, like, trying to sit here, and I'm looking up Thomas Alva Edison, and I'm not finding him. Like, all I find is Thomas Edison. So I'm starting to get frustrated because, you know, I spent like probably about like 45 minutes trying to find Thomas Alva Edison and I can't even find him. So I, I walked up to my teacher and I was like, look, like this person doesn't exist. Like Thomas Alva Edison does not exist. He's just, he just doesn't exist. So she kind of looked at me stupidly. Like she kind of gave me that like, are you dumb kind of face like and looked at me and I was like, why are you looking at me like that? And she didn't say anything, but she just, like, she just, again, looked at me, and she was like, do you, do you want to look it up again and see? And I was like, I mean, 
I guess. And so I sat there and looked it up for about another like 10 minutes. Still didn't find anything. And I walked back up and talked to her like right before the bell rang. And she was like, William Thomas Alva Edison. And she said, think about it for a little bit. And I, I still had me being, you know, this smart, wonderful person I am still had no idea who the heck it was. And then she finally goes, William, it's a middle name. And I just, I kind of like looked at myself and was just kind of like stood there and I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, yeah. It's a nice job, William, and I was like, so yeah, that was, uh, so now my economics teacher thinks I'm totally brain dead, so, um, that's fun. So, yeah, I mean, that was that's pretty much my life so far, is just making stupid mistakes. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, uh, ooh, now that we're actually here, there's actually a person right freaking here, and I actually, oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I just dropped my stupid microphone. Oh god, not the time game. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I dropped my dang microphone. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't really know what happened since I dropped my microphone, because I was like so fix focused on fixing it that I don't know what really... Oh my god, and someone's shooting me from the back, I think. Okay, we are back to the History Channel. Time to investigate. As you can see, he's outwitting his opponent. But his opponent gets the first shot on him. And our master, Drift, has fallen to a no skin. Now into Freelander 95's point of view. As you can see, he's pulling the amazing tactic called his corner camping. He's waiting for his teammates to perish so that he can thrive. He's finally advancing out. This may be deadly for the known Freelander. I do not think he sees there are people behind him. He's more focused on the loot. I think he may be one of the dreaded mobile players. He decides to help his teammate out very quickly. Smart decision. His teammates can take another bullet for him. Guys, I almost just lost all of my streaks, man. <laughs> I forgot. I usually send streaks at the end of the day, right? So I didn't even like... I usually send them like right before I go to bed. When I go to bed at like 2.30, really. I mean, not 2.30, but maybe around like 1-ish. And I usually send them literally right before I go to sleep. Like, that's the last thing I do before I go to sleep is send my streaks. So yesterday I was cleaning my car, so I sent a streak about like my car being clean and that was at like i guess three or four so <laughs> i just went on my snapchat and i have like a like thousand snaps from people going oh my god well our streak our streak our streak and i'm just like what do you mean like our streak shouldn't be running out i send streaks every day and they're like no they're freaking out so almost lost on my streaks and you know how streaks are these days you lose them you lose a lot of friends too Oh god, I keep hitting my microphone. It's like right above my hands and I have to stay like super close to my desk or else you guys can't hear me very well. And every time I hit the dang microphone. God, it like hurts too because then it knocks everything over. Then I gotta fix everything and I don't even know how it sounds like so it probably sounds really bad right now because it's all out of whack and out of position because I'm too lazy to freaking put it back in position. And who knew freaking slurp juices give you 75, count it, 75 shields now. Like, that's freaking stupid. Like, that's really crazy. I don't know if it's just it gives you, like, 75 in total, but it just gives you what it needs, which would make sense, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. That actually makes a lot more sense, and I almost killed myself. I almost killed myself. If you guys couldn't hear that in my voice, the shock of me falling and not actually placing my thing down. <laughs> that literally, like, scared the bejeebus out of me. There we go. We have a pro tactic, actually. 
they uh, they look like they're in an actual squad. Maybe we'll see some good stuff, but um, it looks like one guy's actually facing away from the enemy. <laughs> His only chance for survival is to run. He's abandoned his teammates now to die. Smart. They op I I don't know what he was doing. I can't even history channel that. He d he knew there were people behind him and he still decided to harvest the thing or the tree. Maybe he just needed those resources. Maybe. I can't see him die, guys. I've been with him for all of about like 3 minutes now. And I'm starting to get emotional at seeing him die. And there he goes. Our beloved Candyman has died. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's pretty cringy video. But I hope you guys found it funny at some parts and were entertained. Um, I know it's usually not uh, like this. I know I usually post No Man's Sky. But I do love just uh, being able to chill out and talk to you guys for a little bit. But don't be worried, No Man's Sky videos are still coming, and they're still locked and loaded and ready to go. So, check out, or wait for the next one. Next Monday is when the next No Man's Sky will, video will be out. Anyways guys, I had fun recording this. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next video.